Hello, I'm going to present this video. I'm Jorge Luis Gomez Herrera. This video is going to be about a speaking analysis. I'm going to analyze a conversation using the terms of Haynes ethnographic frameworks. The, the, the ethnographic framework consists on analyzing some aspects during the conversation. Some of the aspects that I'm going to analyze are participants, app sequence, setting and ascent, K, norm of inter interaction and interpretation, and gender between some others. Also, we are going to see a little bit about solidarity and politeness. That it talk about behaviors, rapport, feelings that happen during a, in a conversation. Also, we are going to see a little bit about Grace Maxims. This is how, how is your manner to, to speak. If you go to the point, if you give a lot of reason, or if you change the, the topic when you are talking, a little bit of that. According to the, this video is going on, I'm going to, to explain with more details about these terms. The conversation that I'm going to analyze is a hot conversation. There is about a, a reservation, and there is a, a receptionist, and also there is a, a guest. Okay? So let's start and let's check the video. Good morning. Welcome to the Transnational Hotel. What can I do for you? Good morning. My name is Tom Sanders. I have a reservation for a single room for three nights. All right, Mr. Sanders, let me pull up your reservation. I can't seem to find a record of your booking. Did you book the room directly through us, or do you use a hotel reservation service or a travel agent? Well, I booked it directly through you. I've already also paid a deposit on the first night. I have a, a reservation number if that helps. Yeah, sure. Can I see that, please? Thank you. Oh, I see. Maybe there was a glitch with the booking system. Well, we don't have any more single rooms available, with the exception of one adjoined room, but you would then be right next door to a family with children, which might get noisy. But that's not a problem. I can upgrade you to one of our business suites. They all come with jacuzzis. Oh, that sounds nice. Uh, but how much more is that going to cost? That would, of course, be at no extra charge to you. Oh, well, thank you. My pleasure. Uh, what about the wireless internet? Oh, it's really easy. This is your access code and instructions on how to use it. If you have any problems, feel free to call the front desk. And this is a list of all the hotel amenities, like the gym and the indoor pool. Ah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Has the valet already taken your car, or will you be needing a parking pass? Oh, I don't have a car. I took a taxi direct from the airport. Oh, all right. Could I have some form of ID, please? And could you just fill out this registration form? Sure. Uh, here's my driver's license. Thank you. Oh, you're from San Francisco. Yes, I am, all the way from the West Coast. I hope you had a good trip. Yes, I did. Thank you. The flight was long, but it was smooth, and I slept almost the whole way. Oh, and is this your first time in the Big Apple? Yes, it is. I have a business conference to attend, uh, but I'm looking forward to getting some sightseeing done as well. Well, I'd be more than happy to give you some sightseeing tips if you need any. Thank you. All right, I've got you all checked into your room. This is your room key. You're in room 653. Just take the elevator on the right up to the sixth floor. When you get off the elevator, turn right. Your room is at the end of the corridor on the left-hand side. Just leave your suitcase here and the bellboy will bring it up. Great. Well, thank you very much. If you need anything, please feel free to dial the front desk. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. You're welcome. After watching the video, the first topic that I'm going to, to talk about is the ethnographic framework. As I say, the ethnographic framework involves a lot of aspects to analyze. The fifth aspect that I'm going to check is the gender. It tells us about the type of the, the event. Also, we're going to check another aspect that is the topic that tells us what people are talking about. The purpose, that is another aspect, 
tell us the reasons for the conversation. Also, settings, but also is an aspect about this, this analysis that tell us where the task takes place. Also, the key that tell us the emotional tone of the speakers when they are talking. Another aspect is the participants that tell us about the characteristics of those present and the relationship during, during the conversation. Also, the message form, another aspect of this category, it tells us about the code or the channel that the conversation was presented. Also, the message context that tells us about the specific details of what the communication is about. Also, we are going to see the act sequence or ordering of speech acts that tell us how the conversation was since its beginning to the end. Also, we are going to check the rules for interaction that tell us who has the, the turn to talk, who is first, who is second, who is next of, of the people, or something like that. Also, we are going to check the, the norms for interpretation that tell us about something that the speakers have to understand without explanation during a conversation. And this one was the, was the last one aspect that we are going to check in this category that is ethnographic, ethnographic framework. We already listened the Heinz ethnographic framework story. Now we are going to check the hot conversation with this information according to this term. The first aspect is the gender. This is only a conversation between two people. Then we have another aspect. What is the topic? It is about a hotel reservation. Talking about another aspect is the purpose. The reason of this conversation is that the guest gets a room according to his reservation in the hotel that he did a few days ago. Another aspect is the settings. Where the, ta the talks takes place, as we saw in this conversation, the, the place that, that they used to, to make this conversation was in a hotel. Then we have the, the K aspect. The emotional tone of this conversation was serious because it is an elegant hotel and this is the correct way to talk as a receptionist. Also because the, the man looks as an elegant person. The next, the next aspect to analyze is the participants. As we saw in this conversation, we have two main characters, the guest and the receptionist. The guest is a male who looks like 45 years old man. Also, he looks like an important businessman. He has a host role in this conversation. The receptionist is a female. She looks like 25 years old woman. She is an employee of this hotel and the relationship between both is west to the hotel receptionist. The message from in this, in this conversation is that the message was transmitted face to face with verbal and non-verbal language. Another aspect is that the message content. It is about a solving misunderstanding of a reservation in the hotel. Talking about act sequence, at the beginning of this conversation, there were greetings. After that, 
appear a discussion about the reservation because there was a problem with the reservation that he did. Then the solving become in this conversation because they the reception solved the problem of this reservation and at the end of the talk the the relation between both was friendly. And this was the friendship relation. Then we have other aspect that is that talks about the rules of interaction. The guest is who has the possibility to talk when he wants, and the receptionist is who has to respond all the questions and also she is in charge to give a good service. And the last aspect of this topic is the norm of interpretation. As we, as we saw, is when we have to understand something without, without explanations. As the receptionist did, after the problem, like in this example, after the problem on the reservation, the receptionist knew that she had to solve the problem without, without someone told her what to do. We already saw the Heinz ethnographic and framework theory, and also we saw the Heinz ethnographic and framework analysis in this conversation. Now, we are going to pass to the other terms, that is solidarity and politeness. Politeness is one of the most constraints of human interaction, whose purpose is to consider others' feelings, establish level of mutual comfort, and promote rapport. What we think is appropriate behavior in particular situation is an attempt to achieve the main successful social relationships. There are four aspects, there are four main aspects of this term that is positive face, positive politeness, negative face, and negative politeness. Let me explain a little bit more of these four aspects. Positive face means the need to be liked or accepted. Positive politeness means let to move to achieve solidarity through offers of friendship, the use of compliments, and informal language use with other others as friends as allies. Do not impose on them and never trap in their face. The third aspect is negative face, that means the need for freedom or action or independence. And the last one that is negative politeness that says leads to defer to defense, apologizing, indirectness, and uh, formality in language use. We adopt a variety of strategies so as to avoid any threats to face other as prestige to us. Okay, let's go to the analysis of using this term, solidarity and politeness. Solidarity and politeness analysis. As I mentioned, there are four main aspects in this term. that are positive face, positive politeness, negative face, and negative politeness. In this video, we can realize that there are positive face because in this case, the host arrived with a very kind attitude because he wants to receive a good service from the receptionist. However, the receptionist responds in a very respectful way in order to receive respect from the guest. After the problem they had with the reservation, uh, if you remember in the video, the, the reservation didn't appear in the book of this because there was a problem. So the receptionist 
keep being very kind because she look special that won't offend him. If she would express another kind of expression, the the wife could get angry or something like that that could make a different situation. After that, the wife responds in a positive way and try to find solution for the problem because I said that because she he he didn't get angry when when his reservation didn't appear and that so at the end of of this problem when they solve the the receptionist look less worried because of that because she she solved the problem and also the guest looked very satisfied talking about negative politeness in the whole video the receptionist always refers to the host as a mister because she showed positive politeness about him always the host expressed solidarity and he gave her his friendship we could realize that all of the conversation was using formal language because they didn't meet each other so there wasn't confidence to talk with more you know another kind of language the other two aspects that was positive politeness and negative face we couldn't find in this video because these two aspects are the opposite of I already mentioned. Okay, we already saw the solidarity and politeness theory and also the analysis about this term in this video. Now we are going to go with the last term that is grace maxims. There are four main aspects that also are called maxim by level. The the film the film's aspect of this term is quantity. The second is manner. The third is relation, and for the last is quality. In quantity means when you give more information that is needed. When you give too much information in in a, in a talk. Manner is when you don't go straight to the point. You are giving information and giving information and giving information, but you didn't arrive to the point. The relation means that in a conversation you are talking and someone asks you something about uh, and the who received the, the the question answer with another topic or with another kind of expression. So this is the like changing the topic of, of that you are talking. And quality is to say lies, to to be like with people and and don't treat the don't do don't speak with the truth. Okay, talking about the grace maxims in, in this analysis, the only one maxim that was violated was the quantity, because in one occasion when the receptionist was giving information about a room to the host, she said that next to that room were a, a family with children, and probably they get noisy to the another room. I think she gave more information that was needed. And the other three maxims that was manner, relation, and quality, I think they were not violated because in, in particular about manner, only they were speaking about the, the reservation and they were, uh, and no, they went straight to the point. 
Talking about relation, they never has have changed the the topic and quality. They were only talking with the two. This is the final part of the video.